Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to a little video trying out contrast paint, specifically on a Tyranid Carnifex that I've got here based in the Grey Seer spray that's one of the two new base paints that Games Workshop brought out to use with the contrast paints. Uh, my goal is to paint this not necessarily going as fast as possible but just to get it done relatively neatly. Contrast paints are kind of like the ideal thing for me because I am a lazy painter and also a very bad painter. We are going to paint that one, but first I have one I prepared earlier. Here is another Carnifex that I've already done. Other than the tongue, which was hopefully in focus, kind of. Other than the tongue and the blood effect on the, the talons there, this was done entirely in contrast paint relatively quickly. Oh, and the base as well, obviously. But yeah, that's just contrast paint applied straight onto the Grey Seer base. Basically, majority of it is going to be the Contrast Blood Angels Red for the, the Chitinous Armour and then the Skeleton Horde for the actual bone. The black is going to be Black Templar and the yellow, which I don't have handy, is going to be... Hang on, it's to my side. It's going to be the Yandin Yellow. So those four are essentially 99% of what that current fix was done in. We're going to do it with this one. Might do a time lapse, might just do a cut to the red being done, but we're going to start with the red on the armor, then move on to the bone, and then touch things up with the black and the yellow. So here we have the Blood Angels red contrast paint applied to all the armour. It was a little bit awkward with the camera right in front of my face trying to get it as neat as I would normally like applying. Like you can see it's dripped on the arm here. There's a little bit underneath the chin, like there. If you were just getting this battle ready, if you didn't care about being too neat, just let it dry and then up one. Well, there's a, quite a big leakage up there on just behind the back as well. You could just apply the bone. It would mix a little bit, but if you were just getting it ready for the tabletop as quickly as possible, that's fine, especially if it's something smaller, but this is larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a little while and then I'm going to take the bottled Grey Seer Citadel paint, basically just neaten it up a little bit, get rid of all the bits that shouldn't be red, have them rebased in the base paint that it was sprayed in to let the, the next contrast paint go on without mixing into the red parts. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but in terms of like applying all that, it took like five minutes maybe. You'll maybe have seen the, sp uh, the sped up footage of doing that, although I'm not sure the camera was great for all of it. So yeah, we're back once it's tidied up and dried. 
So it's been about half an hour, that's not enough time for contrast paint to fully dry in some areas where it's pulled quite thickly, like uh, under the recesses here -ish, it looks a little damp still, same with under some of these ridges on the tail here. Probably good enough though for us to move on and start doing the bone, that was my PC's Windows 10 in the background if you heard it. So as I said at the top, the bone is going to be, if we can get that in focus please, camera, anytime you're ready. It's Skeleton Horde, but now it's just a matter of pride to try it. There we go, that's, that's close enough. So that's what we're going to be using for basically all the bone except the, the bladed hands and the tongue, which I'll just use a normal paint for as well. So about another hour later, most of the bone has dried, it's still in the back recesses there where it's like pulling quite heavily, definitely still damp. The longest part of painting with contrast is definitely drying. However, I'm going to move on because I'm not touching the bone parts again yet. We're going to use some of the Black Templar contrast on the talons. We're going to use probably some of the Basilicum Grey on the stone there and, oh yeah, and the little pincer bits up the top there. The Yandin yellow is going to have to wait until the bone is fully dry though, but I'm going to do that for now. Also going to use just some normal paints, going to use Tuscor fur for the tongue, and then once that's dry, use a bunch of Nurgle's rock for the mucus and slime and poison sacs under his mouth. So here we have this current effects more or less 
done, other than a little bit of touching up once it's fully dry, probably going to let it dry for the rest of the day before uh, basing and flocking the, the actual base of it, which is why we're just leaving it blank at the moment. But if you don't include drying time, it probably took 45 minutes tops, probably just over half an hour more like. Um, very quick. Rough and ready, definitely. There's some mixed parts that don't look that great. There's a little bit of, you can see the lines on the tail there. Might have to touch that up again. Had to do the same on the other one, actually. I reapplied just so it wasn't as blotchy. Turn does make a good contrast paint target, I think, because they are so ridgy. There, there's very little perfectly flat sections, so the contrast paint gets to do what it does best, which is sink into recesses and kind of magically create the the, th the effect we're looking for. There's the other current effects, although there's not really enough room here in my very tiny painting area. It's encased in shadow. Yeah, you know how it is. So yeah, we'll probably leave that other current effects for the rest of the day before finishing it. And then he'll be with his friend here, who I did previously, although I did touch up the guns a little bit because I forgot part of the chitinous armor on it. But that was a little look at contrast paints, painting uh, a very fitting target for them. I think Turner's make an excellent target for Contrast paints, I think, think in particular as well, the Blood Angels red contrast paint is an exceptionally good one. Like, it varies depending on which contrast paint colours you use, but that red one is definitely top notch in terms of just how it applies and how it looks compared to others. I think the, um, the Skeleton Horde, yeah, Skeleton Horde one is also pretty good. Used to just use Screaming Cull, uh, Skull base with a Aggressor shade wash over it, this basically looks identical, but you're skipping a step. It dries in the same kind of blotchy way in some places, but is otherwise good. Anyway, that was a little look at contrast paint. I'm hoping to do more of these videos, doing contrast paints on not just Tyranids, but uh, other armies and other models as well, not just from 40k either, just to see how they apply. Let me know if you enjoyed this though, anything you, you would be interested in seeing contrast paint applied to. Thank you very much for watching though, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Stop for now.